in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God, our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. In the waters of baptism, our beloved sister Edna died in Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him the eternal glory. When our beloved sister Edna was baptized, she was done with a white garment of her life in Christ. Now that she enters into eternal life, we place upon her casket the white pall of immortality. Our Lord Jesus Christ suffered and died on the cross. The cross, the symbol of his saving sacrifice, we now place the cross upon our beloved sister's casket. And our brothers and sisters, in silence, let us pray for our beloved sister Edna as if she joins in the Father. Merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond human understanding, from whom human sadness is never hidden, you know the burden of grief that we feel at the loss of our beloved mother. As we mourn her passing from this life, comfort us with the knowledge that she lives now in your loving embrace. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now let us all be seated and listen to the Word of God.
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if in the sight of others indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as a sacrificial offering, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall not, and shall dart about as parts who stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. And because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs>
Mi sono rimasto da ribasso. We do not know the way where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The, the family of Mama, the children, the spouses, the grandchildren, the great grandchildren, the relatives and friends who are here to pay respects and to share the sorrow of a family that was just lost a mother. According to Erwin Molena, the story writer of his uh, a very interesting and a top crossing movie currently, Coco. He said that in the Mexican culture there are three kinds of deaths. The first death is uh, when the heart stops to beat. The second is uh, what we observed here earlier in the beginning of the Mass, when the casket is closed. And the loved one that has died will never be seen anymore. The third kind of death, they say, is when people who remember the one who passed away are no longer around. I'd like to uh, put it in, a, in our Filipino context because we, Filipinos in our culture, we have also a very unique way of letting go of someone we love. It's almost like a difficult thing, very difficult thing indeed. That is why for us, when someone dies, we would like them to stay for as long as they can be with us. That's what we call the Lamai. And to some extent, Mama Edna has been here for a while. She passed on on November 18th, and it's only now that we're going to do her burial. But it's a whole different thing in the Philippines because every night, every day, we are there with the disease. But we're not content with that. What we also do is we have novenas. Novena means nine. So nine days of prayer that we offer for the repose of our day. And not only that, we have 40 days 
And for the days, it's reminiscent of our Lord staying here on earth after he died, and then on the 40th day ascending into heaven. And that's what we also like to believe, that perhaps our dead will linger around for 40 days, and then very soon they will also join God's heavenly help. And all this time, the family would be mourning. And of course, mourning color for us is black. And so, we have also one year of mourning. And then the family, especially the women, would come to church for a mass. And then the veil, the black veil, is replaced with a white veil. We call that Babanguksa in Tagalog. But we are not content with that. We Filipinos like to celebrate that moment when our disease has passed away with what we call a uh, lopus. Lopus is like the anniversary. So every year, we would like to remember that. And that is something very significant because in the Catholic Church, it is when a person dies that we celebrate their entry into eternity. If you know all the saints that we celebrate during the whole year, we celebrate the day when they die. Why? Because that's the day when they are born into eternity. Or like in the peace prayer of St. Francis, it is by dying that we enter into eternal life. That is our hope, that is our prayer. That's what we all are aspiring for. Today, the Gospel from St. John, this chapter 14, our Lord Jesus says something that is very, very difficult to do. He said, don't let your hearts be troubled. We know that we humans are very anxious about so many things. Especially if you are a parent, you are a mother, you are a father. Sometimes you can't sleep. I know that for a fact that when my mom is still alive, she would wait for all of us until everyone is home at night. And she knows who is coming home. Mother's home. That kind of instinct. But I think mothers are also made in heaven. They are super special. They are made in such a way that through their labor, through their pain and sacrifice, they are able to exude strength to their children. They know what it takes. A lot of times to be hurt. They know what it takes to be there when no one else is there. They know what to love and when to love, even when nobody else would love. And in that regard, I think we have a great example and a witness in the life of our beloved mama. There are very few women that I remember in my whole lifetime. Whom I admire the most because of gentleness, because of their capacity to endure. Every storm of life, things come and go. People sometimes can hurt you. Problems will erupt in the family. But all this time, every time I was with her, and that's like what? 28, 29 years ago. I never saw her get angry. That's kind of very unusual. Mothers usually get angry a lot of times. But Mama, she's that gentle soul, a very kind heart. And it seems like she would be like the Blessed Virgin Mary. You know, when the Blessed Virgin Mary 
was very anxious and worried when Jesus was lost in the temple when he was 12 years old. The first thing that Mary told Jesus was, my son, how could you do this to us? We've been worried to death. How could you do this to us? What is the response of Jesus? Mom, don't you know that I have to be doing my father's business? That means to say that he was starting to carry on with his mission. And what was the response of a very perplexed, confused, and anxious mother? Nothing. She kept all these things in her heart according to the scripture. And that is what Mama is. I don't know if the children realize she has a lot of space in her heart for all of you. She saw you in your in your failures. She saw you in your successes. She saw you when you were celebrating. She saw you when you were grieving. But she was there. And she was keeping all these things in her heart. But because of that, I believe, and I like to think of this, that perhaps at her age right now, Papa just uh, passed away last year. Maybe Papa told her, you know what? We have done our job. Let the children live their lives. We can rest. But that kind of rest is not just staying away from you because now more than ever they are with you. The boundaries of time and space are no longer impediments for her and for Papa to love you. They are your saints. They are your angels. They are here for you. Just call on them. And you don't need any more a cell phone or a GPS to find them. No. They are right there with you. In your heart. In your spirit. In your soul. And every day. Every walk that you make. Everywhere you go. They will be there for you. Because if now. When they were here on earth. She has always been with you in her heart. More so now that she is with God in heaven. That she can ask all the saints, her friends, all the angels, the Blessed Mother, Saint Joseph, Jesus, she would ask them, she would beg them and tell them, hey, take care of my son, my daughter, my granddaughter, my grandson, my sister, my brother. She would be there for you just the same, and perhaps even better. So what I'm already saying here is, don't let your hearts be troubled. In fact, for us Catholics, death is a celebration of new life. It is not just about the past, the past is over. But of the past is a memory. I'm going to carry that on. But if you want to take Mama to live on, she has to incarnate herself in each one of you. You have to embody in your heart, in your spirit, her virtues, her kindness, her capacity to forgive and to love, to share whatever she has. She will live in you. But more than that, she will be praying for you. And you can also pray for her. So Lord Jesus says, have faith in God and faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. And I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And then I'll come back and take you with me. So that where I am, you'll always be. Thank you. Yeah, in that regard, the very first time I met Mom was when they invited me to eat at their apartment there in the, in LA. 
and the very first thing I tasted was her cream chicken. And every time I come around, I would ask for that cream chicken. Because it was not just so delicious, you know, the colored recipe is very delicious, but it was done in such a way that it's almost like you want to come back again and again and again. And that's what happened. Uh, 30 years from now, I'm still here with the family. And it's a sad thing to some extent. The mom is gone. So when yesterday he told me, Father, we have cream chicken, I asked right away, is that as good as mama's? <laughs> I think she does everything with a big heart. And that is what I would like us all to remember. Because we have a big heart. You have the heart of Christ that can make you also do things miraculously. I remember very well when Mother Teresa of Calcutta was asked why was she picking up kids from the gutters and people who are just dirty and dying. And one time she picked up this baby who was very marnotish and took her to the baker and asked for bread from the baker. And the baker spat on her face. She didn't pledge anything. And she asked the baker, please now for the baby. You would think the baker would also spit on the baby. But no. The baker was put to shame. Because he treated them without dignity. But Mama carried her heart with dignity. Sometimes maybe very quiet. But that big heart has made her, even in silence, influence and bring impact on people's lives than people who are shocking at one another. And so I remember here, the Lord Jesus says, I'm going to make a place for you, and I will take you with me. And I believe that Mama will also be very busy in heaven, preparing a place for all of you. So I know, can you like to decorate? Mama will have a better decoration there than you. <laughs> and, girly, I know you can see so well, but Mama will just ask you to come and later on find out that the angels can sing a lot, lot better. But she will ask all of them to orchestrate the whole heaven so that all of you will be reunited with her, with her and with Papa for eternity. But there is a catch. You have to know, you have to find the way. That's why Jesus told his disciples, you know where I'm going. And Thomas, the doubting Thomas, said, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And the only way is Jesus. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one goes to the Father except for me. Hopefully that by the example of Mama, you have also embraced Christ. The faith that is only in Christ. The Savior sent to us by God. The Savior that Mama found in her heart from the very beginning until now, until forever. And hopefully, that we also walk that way in His Christ. And show Christ to everybody the way Mama showed Him to all of us. And so with that, I'd like to invite you now to stand up and do our prayers. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father. For he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers to his.
Please respond. Hear our prayer. In baptism, our beloved sister Edna received the light of Christ. They scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Our sister Edna was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Our beloved sister Edna. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. And many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer, so unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Those who trusted in the Lord know we sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. The family and friends of Edna seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain, and dispel the darkness and dawn the cough of grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our beloved sister Edna. We strengthen our hope so that we may live and the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let's be seated for the offertory. and yours to be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray, to your servant, our beloved sister Edna. On this funeral day, we offer you the sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any state of sin have clung to her, or any human fault have affected her, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is 
It is to rewind the trust, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection is dawned. That those heaven by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. And then for your faithful Lord, life is changed and ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hem of your glory, thus without end. We acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who sound in the highest, blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Who sound in the highest. Hear me sing. You are, in the holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Michael and their this gives me pride. By sending God your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered very dispassion, he took bread, and giving thanks to broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all and it all. For this is my body, which will be given all for you. My brothers and sisters, the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister. How we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gotten into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church with the love of the world, and break into the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, our local bishop, and all the clergy, remember your servant, our beloved sister Edna, whom you have called from this world to yourself, that as she was united with your son, in a death like this, may also be one with them in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. <clears throat> Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
for your Son, Jesus Christ. So I invite him, I am our God and my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please rise. My brothers and sisters of the Savior's command and from the divine teaching, we now sing. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. We 
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Lord that I will save the earth from my soul. May the body of love Christ give me safe for eternal life.
of the family would like to serve your words, some eulogies for mom, this obviously prevents it. Someone in the 
family had a dream a few days ago of Mama and Papa resting side by side in their room with a Sacred Heart statue clearly in sight. For me, that is what eternity means. Till death, they never parted. Together forever. Papa and Mama, may you both rest in peace. Please keep on looking after us and those you left behind. God bless you both, your, both your souls. We love you very much. Thank you. I'll be reading my, my daughter's. I'm going to read the letter of my daughter, Mary Diana Gomez, and she's in the Philippines for her grandmother. Dear Mama, how I wish I could be the one reading this. How I wish I could hear you call me Panga one last time. With a heavy heart, my only consolation is that the life you lived was filled with so much love. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And my dearest mama, you walked through life with such striking radiance. You faced all of life's challenges with admirable strength and grace. The pain of losing you is beyond words, but I have to remind myself to focus on how the gift of your life has touched so many people and I am blessed to have had you as the perfect example of the woman I wish to become. Your kind heart, gentle soul, and strong spirit will live with us forever. I love you, Mama. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. <coughs> I'm Richie Garcia. Um, so for 23 years of my life, I lived with my mom every day. So, for the first time when I was away, as cliche that may be, I did not know that this was going to happen. And truthfully, none of us did. Um, it hit me with surprise as much as everybody else. But I want you to know, mom, that I prayed that night when mom called me. The call that was just made minutes before you met God. I prayed that you would hold on just for one more day. One more day so that at least could say goodbye. Remind you one more time that I love you. And memorize your face while I still had a little bit of fight and life in it. I got the second call from my mom. They told me, she told me that they were saying your vitals were coming back and the spark of hope came upon me. And I thank God for hearing me and sharing the strength with you. But then I got that third call The call that I did not want, but I knew was going to come. I cried, and I cried. I was angry, confused, holding tightly to the rosary. I asked God, why, why wouldn't she wait just one more day? It wasn't until I got home and was with the family when I realized how long you really and selflessly have been holding on. I knew it was going to be okay. It was just so hard to face that I had to know it was going to be okay. I didn't want it to be okay, Mama. I wanted you with me. It was so hard. <coughs> Harder than having to say goodbye to Bolo because we all got closure that night he passed. For a week or so, I was afraid to really accept that you weren't here. 
I woke up every morning thinking, Mama is just at Tico JJ's house. It wasn't really until we continuously, until we continuously did the rosary every night as a family that I started coming to peace. This, Mama, is because every time I looked up from doing rosary, I saw you, pieces of you and everybody. I reminded myself that you didn't leave us. You never can. You've touched this family so generously, graciously, and carefully that it will continue to ripple down from generation to generation. The love you taught with Lolo, the love you and him exemplified, is something we, as a family, can never be sorry for, but something we are so mercifully thankful for. What I'm trying to say is thank you, Mama. Thank you for giving and creating life. Thank you for falling in love at 65 years ago and creating this beautiful, this beautiful thing. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for my aunts and uncles. Thank you for my cousins. Thank you for loving us. It is the love that will keep you alive forever. For love has no age, no limit, and no death. We love you, Mama, so very much. Thank you.
characters in our life, in our family, and we're very blessed, we're very blessed that we have each other, that she brought us together, kept us together, and we will continue doing the same. We were looking at pictures just a few, day, a few days ago when she first came here to America. She was only in her 50s, and we were in our early 20s. And now she has gone to heaven, and in 30 years, we will be in the same place. It just reminded me of how valuable life is with our children and our family members to stay together, continue to pray together, and to stay in peace. That is what she always wanted, peace in our family. And I would like to also thank her for giving me the opportunity of serving her. Her last year, I was able to feed her. I was able to help her walk. And I was able to do whatever she asked me to do for her. And I was happy to do it because she taught me. She taught me to be selfless and to be happy with life. And I hope that my children have also learned from her to do the same for me and other elders of the family because we will all need the same in the future. I love you, Mama. Thank you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant, our beloved sister Edna, was journeyed from this world. May we be sacrificed, be cleansed, and free from all sin and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of our beloved sister Edna. May our family express our affection for her, may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again and the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And now in silence, let us pray for our beloved sister, Edna. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Prayer of commendation. Into your hands, Father, mercies we commend our beloved sister Edna, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestow upon her in this life. They are such to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to our assemblies and to our prayers. 
open the gates of paradise to her servant, and help us or me to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ, I'm with you, and with our beloved sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now in silence, let us pray. express my prayer for condolences to the family. We have prayers to carry you through this time of grief and loss. And now, brothers and sisters, let us take our beloved sister and that to her final resting place.
Father. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The right of commitment. Our beloved sister that has gone to her rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven with faith and hope in eternal life. Let us also assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord for ourselves, the way who mourn be reunited one day with our beloved sister Edna. And together, we will meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read and say to the scripture, Come, you are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Prayer over the place of commitment. Lord Jesus Christ, we are on three days in the tomb. You hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And so may the grave a sign that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Then that our beloved sister may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face, and then your light will see light. And know the splendor of God, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> because God has chosen to call our sister Edna from this life himself, we commit her body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister Anna to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. Intercessions. For our sister Anna, let us pray to the Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Please respond, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, you consult Martha and Mary in their distress. Do near to us who mourn for Adam. To those who weep, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You rest the life, give to our beloved sister eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. You promise paradise to repentant thief. Bring Edna to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Our sister Edna was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. and comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our beloved sister Edna. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. And our brothers and sisters, we long for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us join our hands together as we pray the words our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Concluding prayer. Almighty God, through the death of your Son of the cross, you destroyed our death, through his rest in the tomb, you have the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful, you are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out in their need, and I strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. 
And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. We shall rest in peace. Amen. May our soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. with you. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, give your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And our brothers and sisters, let us now go in the peace of Christ, and thanks be to God. Amen. Psalms we read, who will give me wings like a dove? 
For then would I fly away and be at rest. I would like to invite Romulo to the mic to read the symbolism of the dove. He still wishes. Okay. Okay. I'll read in place of my dad. The white dove is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit who comforts us in our time of grief. It symbolizes divine guidance and the hope of resurrection. The dove in flight is the symbol of the Spirit entering into the glory of God. Mamang's soul, covered by the blood of Jesus, together with the Holy Spirit, freed from worries of this earth, entering into eternal peace in paradise in the glory of our Almighty Father. Two flights of white doves will fly home today in memory of our beloved Mama. The first dove will fly to signify Mama's departed spirit, released and free, returning home to God. Thirty doves signifying family unity will fly home in the second release. Their journey will carry the love, hopes, and prayers of the family and friends who remain behind. They fly so we may know that Mamang has not journeyed alone, but with the love and devotion of her family and friends go with her. Mamang now rests in the presence of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. We find peace and comfort in knowing that we are not alone in our sorrow. You all share deeply in our loss. Your support and your loving thoughts will stay with us. Remember in our sorrow that there's hope in Jesus Christ. As these doves fly home, let the memory of their flight become a quiet comfort and a release of the sadness we feel today.